In this video, we are going to learn how to do the rectangular array command. So the first thing we need to do is just draw one of these objects. So draw the this circle and polygon. We can see that the circle has a diameter of 0.75 because from the bottom of the circle to the top is 0.75. And for the polygon, we can see that it's circumscribed about that circle with a diameter of 0.75 there. Okay, so let's get started over here. The first thing I'm going to do is just use the center diameter circle. My start point will be 0, 0, enter, and my diameter is going to be 0.75, enter. Then I'm going to go click the down arrow up here and click polygon. The number of sides is going to be 6, enter. The center point is going to be 0, 0, or you can click the center of the circle uh, using the center object snap. So make sure your center object snap is on if yours is not working. And then uh, this is going to be circumscribed about the circle. So click circumscribed. and you can specify the radius, which is 0.75 divided by 2, or I have my top quadrant on, uh, my top quadrant, or quadrant object snap on, so I'm just going to click the top quadrant of this circle. And instead of drawing this circle, six, I mean, this these two shapes six times, I'm going to use the rectangular array command instead. So to use that, in the modify panel, click the arrow next to array and there's different types of arrays you can use so we're first going to learn rectangular array and then the next video we're going to learn how to use the polar array so click rectangular array select objects you're going to select all of these objects and hit enter all right and for the number of columns the columns are going to be here the columns here and the rows are going to be here so the total number of columns is going to be three and the total number of rows is going to be two. Then we have to create, determine the distance between each of these. So let's start with the row or the columns here. We can see between each item is 1.5 or the total is three. So between, you can use between or total because we're given both information. I'm just going to do the between because this 1.5 so between each of these items i'm going to type in 1.5 and click in the total and you can see that the total actually updates once you type in the between and for the rows so between each row is going to be three so between is going to be three this time then click in the total and your final object or drawing should look like this and then click close array. When you get to this point, if you click on one item, you can see that they're all uh, associated as one object. If you want to edit one of these, you can go to home and you can click explode. And that will separate all of these. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to go back to array. So say you have this and you made a mistake by chance um, on one of the dimensions. You can go to edit source and I'm going to just select your array, click OK, and you can actually go in here. So this time, let's just make, let's see here, let's, I just clicked on the top quadrant of the circle and I'm going to move it to this corner here so that it's on um, the polygon is inscribed about the or in the circle. Okay, I'm going to hit escape and you can see that it updates all of these items as well. All right, and then in here you're going to click save changes and that will save your changes. Okay, I'm going to undo that. I just want to show you how to make changes. I'm going to hit undo, undo again undo, undo, okay, undo, undo, and so here's what we're trying to draw. 
And the last step is I'm going to select all of these items and go to my home tab and click explode. And now you can see that each of these entities are considered one entity. So now you can actually just modify this one object without modifying all of them and do control C to undo that. And that's how you use a rectangular array.